Lord Jesus Christ. We normally think of religious or priestly vocation whenever we hear these words of Jesus. The harvest is few. Uh, the harvest is great, but laborers are few. Therefore, we think of praying for more vocations to the priesthood. We pray for more religious missionaries. We pray for those who will particularly offer their lives and work for the church. But this passage is more encompassing is more reaching out to all who believe in Christ. Because when Jesus went to the people, He saw people without leaders. He saw people with problems. He saw people who were so beaten up by difficulties that they can no longer decide. They cannot move on. They cannot change the gloom, the terrible feeling of darkness that surrounds them. Hence, Jesus wants to send people to uplift them. He wants to send people to inspire them. He wants to send people who will bring out the best in them. I remember I have a friend whose father had humble beginnings. Nung bata pa raw yung tatay niya, he did a lot of simple, odd, many jobs just to get by. Nag-shine ng sapatos, namasukan bilang gasoline boy, hanggang nakatapos siya, nakapag-aral siya, and maayos yung naging buhay na naibigay niya sa kanyang pamilya. But it is a common event, according to my friend, na kung sila ay maggagasolina, when they will be driving, they will go to some place, kapag naggasolina daw sila, the family already expect na tatagal sila doon. Why? Because the father will always make it a point to talk to the gasoline boys, telling them, Nagsimula din ako sa ganyan. Nagtrabaho din ako sa gasolinahan. Nagsumikap ako. At kung kaya ko, if I was able to succeed, then you also have it in you to succeed. In short, this father goes around inspiring people. He goes around encouraging people. He goes around telling people, there is so much potential in you. Tignan ninyo ako, dati akong gasoline boy, I was able to make good with what I have. You are in the same position where I started. Dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect upon this gospel, we pray for people such as this person who will bring out the best from others, who will remind others there is so much potential in you. We pray for teachers who despite the pandemic will continue to inspire their students. We pray for parents that despite the current difficulties of this world, they may continue to be role models and the source of foundation for the young. Nuulit ko, our young children are challenged by the difficulty of our surroundings right now. It is upon our shoulders to continue to inspire them. 
It is upon our responsibility to still build up strong foundations for them. It is our tasks. It is our task to remind them of that potential embedded in them. You are blessed by God with a lot of dreams, promises, potentials. Naway hindi mawala ang mga pangarap na ito. Naway hindi magunaw ang mga potential na ito. Naway hindi sila mawalan ng pag-asa at sila'y tumitingala sa atin para hindi mawala ito. Again, the harvest in this time is all the more greater. We need people to inspire. We need people to bring out the best from other people. We need role models. We need encouragement. We need people who will radiate hope. We pray that we be one of those who are laborers sent to the harvest of the kingdom of God. Let us all stand.